You know, for a guard, you're not too good at tailing people. <clears throat> not to brag, but this kind of thing is my specialty. So it really is you. When Law told us, I almost didn't believe it. I'm just surprised you could do two things at once, Law. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> It looks like somebody needs to be put in their place. The one time I wanted to resolve things peacefully. What the hell? I thought you wanted us to leave. You'll never make me talk. Not helpful. In fact, you're pretty damn stubborn, you know that? What's your deal, huh? Did Doheleem put you up to this? You send us away and then come to finish us off? I don't buy it. <gasps> I wonder. We came here following a black cat. What reason could you have for tagging along? Certainly not as a spy. You think she might have business with whoever called us out here? And even if she did, I highly doubt she was trying to keep us from harm. Am I wrong? Just who was it that led us out here? Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. I'm the one who summoned you all here. Well, maybe not all. Nice of you to drop by, Kisara. It's been a while. You two know each other? Hello, brother. So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all on our own. We had a lot of support from others along the way. So, wait, Kisara's your sister? 
Yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us, full of hope for the future of this realm, for both Danans and Renans alike. For siblings, you two don't exactly look like you're on the best of terms. That's because Migal here is a traitor. Isn't that right? <laughs> we were in the guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. He took off after that. Is that true? You still believe that's what happened? I don't see why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, you'd reject it. Same as back then. Heck, even now I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. Before Lord Dohalim came to power, this country was ruled by an oppressive regime. We lost both of our parents to it. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny. Just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencia was reborn under his watch, and orphan children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes. Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. All of them are contained within every living being. And that's the excuse they use to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die, or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. What the... is that... Is that... metal? Not metal, but to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... nothing. Matter with no physical form, just a reminder of what was once there. They call it the Hollowing. The Hollowing? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. What? That can't... Miguel. When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. When a Danon eats this fruit, their body enters a heightened state, one that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Law were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. None too surprising, either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? You don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. But if that's the case, then why aren't I showing any symptoms? Why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guards' meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. I tried to warn him, but all it got me was locked up. 
They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. It's a miracle I made it out. They eventually left me for dead, thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot. Just a cover-up? What? Eventually, I found others like me. And together, we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. But I'm hoping that's about to change, now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servant. It was a shot in the dark, but fortunately you recognized her for what she was, and Zarae accomplished her mission with flying colors. So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert, but with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. But I have to know, how do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Doholi may be a wonderful person, but in the end, he's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith.
time we go to sleep. Can't sleep? And you? I woke up randomly and couldn't fall back asleep. I'll go back to bed once I get tired again. How's your shoulder? Huh? My shoulder? Oh, you mean where Dohalim smacked me? Feels a little off, but ah, it's fine. I'll manage. Doesn't look like it's gotten much better. I'll give you some more healing. should do the trick. Hey, yeah, you're right. That feels much better. Thanks, Xion. I've been thinking about what happened, and I was out of line. I know it takes more than a couple of bullets to bring down a lord. Forget about it. It's fine now. We all got out of there safe. And now you've healed me up, too. We're going to take down all the lords. That was the promise we made, right? Yeah, I guess. But there was one other thing I wanted to ask you. Back at the palace, Law said you took that hit because you were worried about me. What was it you were worried about? That's... kind of hard to explain. Just tell me. Well, for one, if we lost you, I wouldn't be able to use the Blazing Sword anymore. Obviously. <laughs> but more important than that, I guess I just couldn't let you die. Honestly, I think that's all there is to it. There you go saying stuff like that again. You never learn, do you? Anyway, it's necessary so we can fulfill our promise, right? R right Glad you remember that much. You okay? <sighs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Sleep well. doing. I sent Kisara back to town under the cover of night. You do realize that she was searching for you all this time, right? I wonder why. She never could let things go, ever since we were kids. Maybe she was keeping an eye on you all because she thought you might cause trouble. 
I wouldn't be surprised. Do we need to be worried about her? She could easily report us. Even if we could have kept her here, it would have just raised more suspicion. Besides, I want to believe in her. More leaps of faith, huh? <laughs> Once we make our move, I'll send Zare to come fetch you again. Until then, stay close and try not to wander off too far. Guess we're waiting on word from Magal for the time being. Let's go out somewhere then. Twiddling my thumbs isn't my style. I'm going with you if you are. If I let you people go unsupervised, you'd probably wind up too far out for Magal's news to reach. Oh, come on. We're not children. <sighs> How about you make like the rest of the city and play nice for once? I know he said it's necessary, but... Are we sure Magal's plan is a good idea? I mean... Just because we came expecting a fight doesn't mean we have to have one. If Magal is right about Dohalim, we may have no reason to fight. Dohalim may have found a way to build a future where Danans and Renans can live alongside each other in peace. Yeah, I guess that may be true, but I'm still not sure about this. I just can't bring myself to trust a Renan. I really don't understand what's going through Magal's head. And as for him and Kisara... He said they were siblings, right? But things seem kind of awkward between them. I was an only child, so I never had to deal with that kind of stuff. Is their situation really that different from ours? That's... I mean, I guess not, but... The reality is that we don't know what's true and what isn't about Menencia yet. Until we know that for sure, Let's not pass judgment one way or another, okay? Yeah, okay. That's fair enough, I guess. So let me ask you something, Rinwell. Hoodle and Megal's cat are both animals native to Dana, right? Right. And Zoogles definitely aren't. Well, duh. Those things are too hideous to be from here. <laughs> not that owls are any better. Hmm? Ah, ow! Ow! I take it back! I love owls! Owls are the best! I swear! Hoodle's pretty cute, I'll admit. But I've also been rather partial to cats, too. What about you, Xion? Huh? Who? Me? I... Uh... Well, I guess... I like them both. Hmm? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Either way... The more I think about it, I've never heard of anyone keeping Zoogles as pets. Is it because Renans only use them for practical purposes? Yeah, that could be the reason. They were originally created to serve as beasts of burden, so to speak. Hey, can you guys quit standing around and get him to leave me alone? I'm begging you! <laughs> Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here. Faster.
Do you sense one of your friends? Toodle? Stay sharp. We're going in.
Don't sense any more enemies. Oh, good. There you are. You people again. You shouldn't be loitering around here. Don't force me to arrest you. Think we've established you couldn't even if you wanted to. What? Law, quit it. We're not here to argue with you, Captain. We've got something to deliver to you. Here. Uh, that's... That bracelet. Is that my brother's? Why are you giving this to me? I can't help but wonder what my brother is planning with all this. I'm not sure. That said, I think he was being sincere about everything he told us back there. I've met a lot of good people fighting to liberate Dana. And I got the same feeling from Egal that I did from all of them. I think we can trust him. I think you're a good person too. Otherwise, you would report on us and the Gold Dust Cats, right? What makes you think I won't? Because Migal trusts you. And that's enough for me to trust you, too. You're a pretty unusual guy, Alfin. Do you go around acting like that everywhere you liberate people? What do you mean? I'm sorry, forget it. It's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I think we'll find out more about what Migal's planning soon enough. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. I guess so. Hmm. I guess we just wait for things to kick off. Yeah, looks like we'll be staying at the inn another night. We've reached our destination. Got something tied to her collar. Oh, she left. It happens tomorrow. They want us to meet in that underground quarry. Then we should prepare while we still can. We'll spend the night here at the inn again. Well, this is it. Yeah. What angle is the Lord gonna take? That depends on Megal. Let's hurry to the quarry. All done. Come and eat.
Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Please hear my humble request. Who goes there? Halt! Is that Magal? The traitor? Guards! Don't let him get any closer! His Excellency's life is in grave danger! Kill them all at once! Wait. Stay back, Your Excellency! It's too dangerous! Enough. He cannot harm me. Nor, I think, does he intend to do so. Isn't that right, Miguel? Indeed it is, Lord Dohalim. I have heard many a rumor about you, but I suppose we'll have more time for those later. You have made some rather interesting friends. He has something he wishes to show you. We are here to make sure he does. And what could that be? Please, my lord, you needn't give these miscreants the time of day. I shall personally... Silence, Kelzalik. I wish to speak with them. Please, you were saying. It's what's in there, my lord. Have you ever walked all the way through the quarry, my liege? Right to the other side? Now that you mention it, I don't believe I have. It's a den and medical facility of some kind, is it not? I think you need to see for yourself, my lord. All I ask is that you witness this before you pass judgment upon me. Then witness it I shall. Kisara, this man is your brother, correct? I would like to ask that you personally escort me while in there. I should warn you, what lies ahead is fraught with danger. You should all take care and stay on your guard as we proceed. Danger? What could be so dangerous about it? It's a regular workplace, isn't it? You'll see. Please, I ask only that you trust me. Sounds like you all need to rethink your medical facilities around here. Hospitals are supposed to be safe. Quite. Kisara. Let's see what they have to show us, shall we? As you wish, my lord. Your strength is appreciated. With you, we can all breathe a little easier. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? I didn't realize you held my strength in such high regard. I meant what I said before. Anyone who tries to fight you will have a hard time of it. How long have you been wielding that enormous shield? 
ever since my first job as a guardsman. Our duty was to stop any attack dead in its tracks, then take all that momentum and turn it right around to smash the attacker. But why bother blocking in the first place? Wouldn't it be better to just dodge the attack and hit back immediately? Try doing that when you've got someone standing behind you that you need to protect. This shield is a symbol of our conviction as guardsmen. Every time we successfully block an attack, our fighting spirit only grows stronger. So what you're saying is that, unlike Law, you can actually take a hit. I'm right here! This area right here is where the real Heart of Darkness used to lie in Menencia. It wasn't unusual for the holes we dug in this earth to become our graves, and for the stones we mined to serve as our tombstones. That's right. I can remember it so clearly. I remember how the adults used to describe this place. Like it was setting foot in the gaping maw of a monster. But anyway, that's all history now. It is. All the bloodstains on the rocks, the still air, the constant stench of death. We're very lucky that it's all in the distant past. The smell of sweat and debris still hangs in the air. But at least now the Danans of Menencia can live with joy in their hearts. And it's you that we have to thank for this, Lord Dohalim. We would never have come so far if it wasn't for you. Hmm. Magal, why bring all of this up now? What exactly is the point? I just wanted to remind us. I think it's important that we remember how precious the rights we enjoy under His Lordship's grace truly are. But I still don't get why... You'll understand soon enough. For now, I simply want you to keep what I've said in mind as we continue our journey.
it's teeming with Zoogles. Are they kept here as some kind of deterrent? Not that I know of. This is where the spirit vessel is housed, so it's no place for beasts. What's going on? Where are all the laborers? <sighs> You're the only one who doesn't seem in the least bit surprised. Perhaps you'd care to enlighten us? All in due course, my lord. But first, just a little bit further. Once we reach our destination, everything will become clear soon enough. Fine. As you wish. I noticed your shield just appears out of nowhere whenever you need to use it, just like Shion and her gun. Does it use the same Renin transferal technology too? Don't you need astral energy in order to use that? You do. Obviously I can't cast arts myself, but I'm equipped with a device that has the necessary energy charged into it. As long as I'm using the device, I can call forth my shield whenever I like. Equipment charged with astral energy isn't all that rare. So basically, there's nothing special about Renin technology that prevents Danins from using it? No. But as you might expect, normally they'd never be given any of it in the first place. It's not as if just anybody gets to have it here. You need to earn Lord Dohalim's trust before you're allowed access to it. What makes you so sure he's not bribing you? Rinwell. I'm just being honest. It's not normal. I can understand why you'd be skeptical. However, Elda Menencia truly has transformed and evolved from the sort of realm it once was. Yes, she's right. And that's exactly why I... Miguel? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll explain more once we arrive at our destination. Yeah. 
Weapons with this? Thank you. 
All right. I didn't know you could use arts like that. Yeah, but still, what's with that smoke and these zoogles around here? This is... Out. Since before I was born, or so they tell me. Probably for decades. That long? I'm impressed the place has never caved in during all that time. Nice. No scratches on my shield or my armor. 